If you've ever wondered how the lifestyle creators do it, you're gonna wanna watch this one. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with the lifestyle creators on TikTok. You know the ones. They clean their aesthetically pleasing apartments, they make their healthy meals, and they're really good at editing. Because their videos are so fast-paced and dynamic, I am locked in the entire time. In this video, I want to show you how to shoot and edit your content to look and feel as beautiful and engaging as possible. But before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. Look, I don't want you to miss out on any tutorials or product updates, okay? I'm trying to keep you in the loop here. Okay, let's start filming. Filming an aesthetically pleasing video rests on your framing. Make sure you're getting a variety of angles to showcase what you're doing in a straightforward, clean way. So for example, if I'm filming myself throwing laundry into the machine, I'm gonna set my camera up on an angle here with the window behind me to light my scene, and I'm gonna make sure that it's all level. If you're wiping your kitchen countertop, you might wanna do an overhead shot that's not straight on so that your head and arms aren't blocking what you're doing. Film yourself going through the motions as you normally would, but try to make your actions as quick and complete as possible. So I'm not gently, slowly placing my laundry into the drum, I'm throwing it in there. I'm not spraying my countertop and then wiping in a circular motion, I'm swiping across the screen. You can also add a stop motion element to your video to make it even more dynamic. So for example, I'm filming a shot of me cleaning my coffee table. I'm gonna keep my camera rolling as I remove one decor piece and coffee table book at a time, pausing between each one to get a clean shot. And then I'm gonna clean the same way that I did in the kitchen before placing each item back one by one. For my last clip, I'll film myself sitting on the couch, proud of myself for cleaning, but ready to relax. Once you've filmed everything, it's time to load it all into the CapCut desktop app and start editing. Editing is what's gonna take your video from a boring, normal cleaning or cooking video to a fast-paced, dynamic lifestyle narrative. Go ahead and import all of your clips, adding them down into the timeline in whichever order you'd like. The first thing you're gonna do is cut out any moments that don't feature movement. Every single millisecond of your video needs to have an action taken place. This is going to quicken the pace and keep your audience engaged. So in my video, I'm going to remove the moment where I pick up the all-purpose cleaner and only keep the moments when I'm actively spraying. I'm removing the shots of myself digging into the laundry hamper and only keeping the moments when I'm throwing the laundry in. You can already see how removing these small dull moments, even if they're only a few frames, speeds up my video. As for my stop motion element, I'm going to do the exact opposite of my other clips. Instead of removing the moments when I'm not in the frame and moving things around, I'm going to remove all the moments where I am in the frame moving things around. The moments that I'm keeping are only a few frames long, so the video is still going to be quick. But you'll see that once I remove myself from this portion of the video, it has that stop motion feel. Once I start cleaning again, I'm going to go back to only keeping those moments where I'm actively spraying and swiping. And then when I'm putting all the items back, I'll return to that stop motion process. And once I've edited all of my clips down, I'm just going to trim that clip of me sitting on the couch and relaxing. Now all there's left to do is add a trending sound and some hook text. Let's start with the audio tab in the upper left hand corner corner of the screen. I'm going to pull a song from the trending subcategory that's as upbeat and fast paced as my video. Let's go ahead and drag this one down to my timeline. Then I'll clip the end of the song so it stops when my video does. To do this, I'm selecting the song and then moving the playhead to the end of my video and pressing the W key. The W key gets rid of everything to the right of the playhead so that my music doesn't keep playing over a black screen. Now that I've got my music, let's add some hook text to get my audience engaged. I'm going to the text menu in the top left hand corner of my screen and then going into the text template subcategory. I love using text templates because then I don't have to customize my own hook text. I can just pull something that's already great. This one looks good. Let's go ahead and move it on down to the timeline over my first few clips. I want to leave it on screen long enough for the viewer to read it, but not too long so that it blocks the majority of my video. Then I'll use the dynamic menu on the right to change the text so it says, clean with me, downtown LA loft edition. Beautiful, the video looks great to me. Let's go ahead and export it using CapCut's default settings. Creating aesthetic lifestyle videos is not as hard as it seems. My top tip for you to keep in mind is just to prioritize the pacing of your video. You don't want there to be any dull moments and you wanna keep your audience as engaged as possible. If you have any other tips for lifestyle creators, drop them in the comments. And also please let us know what tutorials you wanna see. We are all ears. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.